Hi, in this video we're going to make a small leather cheat for a Victorinox knife and a small flashlight. As leather itself is flat and the things we want to carry are quite big, we'll be using a technique called wet forming. Basically what this is, is that first we make the leather elastic by submerging it in water for half an hour and then we'll press it in a mold to make the leather take the shape that we want. Here, as the flashlight and the knife aren't the same thickness, the mold had to be made out of two pieces of MDF, so that different parts of the mold are also at different heights. And to cut everything out, I used a scroll saw, as the precision isn't really paramount here. What is important, however, is that we sand any corners or edges that are too sharp smooth, in a way that the leather won't have any ugly marks on it. Here everything is round and smooth. So now that the mold is ready, we can cut a piece of leather. And place it between the two parts of the mold. To apply some constant pressure, I use these clamps that I left on the molds overnight. As you can see now, the leather is nicely formed and it's a perfect size for the flashlight and the knife. Some reference lines to cut away the top of the sheath. And using some token oil, we can burnish it so it will look really nice and smooth. Here is a leather edge that hasn't been burnished, and here is one that has just been burnished with token oil. As you can see, it's really a lot smoother. Because I have this really nice limited edition finish knife, I didn't want to take any risk damaging the paint, so I decided to also burnish the inside of the sheath with the same token oil. This is just me being extra careful uh, because I really like that knife. You can completely skip this step, I don't think it actually makes a big difference uh, compared to not burnishing the inside. By the way, all the templates used in this project can be downloaded from the description for free. A hole punch can be used to make a hole for the stop button. Before dyeing the leather, here I use the Phoebe's Pro dye with a chocolate color. So then it was for me the opportunity to use for the first time this really cool looking vintage press. I bought it from a garage sale and well maybe I will make in the future a video about restoring it. Uh, we'll see. This is some water-based glue, so it doesn't stink as much. After letting the two pieces sit for 15 minutes, we can press them together. Before making the final trims, throw all the layers of leather at once, so that the edges look nice and clean. Now it was time for stitching. Thank you. 
So here for the first time I tried to really really make uh, sure that the holes I made were just the smallest size possible. And I also used a thread that was a lot smaller than the ones I had previously used. And I think this is the cleanest saddle stitch I have done so far. Also with this design, I made so that the stitching can be done with two passes. So first all the contours and then the middle divider. Some dye for the edges. And then the final edge burnishing. Also, as a last step, some leather balsam to make the surface of the leather shiny and smooth. So this was actually my first leather sheet and I'm quite happy with how it turned out. First the stitching for once looks quite clean and also the design itself is quite comfortable to use. All the tools are easily accessible. I was worried that the knife and the flashlight might be a bit uncomfortable to wear, but actually I don't feel the sheet at all even when sitting down. So I think the design is pretty good. Uh, two things I would do differently if I were to do this project again. First, I didn't leave a hole in the flashlight compartment. And that's a bit annoying because when you turn on the flashlight by accident, you won't really see that it's turned on and you run the risk of running out of battery without knowing it. And secondly, because I used raw leather, the leather on leather contact squeaks quite a lot when opening and closing the snap button. So I will probably treat it with mink coil when I will get some, and for the future builds, I'll just treat the leather before assembling the sheet. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you liked it. If that is the case, please leave a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.